Hello, dear students. Very good morning to you all. Hope all of you are keeping fine. Once again, I welcome you all to my class, especially the students of class 12, my beloved students. Dear students, today I continue from where I had stopped in my last class. Please remember. We are learning story number 8 that is singing lesson written by Catherine Mansfield. Catherine Mansfield. And the characters <coughs> Miss Meadows. Mary Baisley. Singing Girls. Science Mistress. And Miss Yacht, whom you are going to meet today. So, Miss Meadows is undergoing severe pain in her heart because of the broken relationship with her fiance. Remember? So, being a music teacher, she comes to school with all the melancholy, sad feelings of her heart. And even she did not want to face anybody in her school. Why? Because inner turmoil is going on. Inner turbulence, ups and downs is going on in her mind. Yes. Thus, as I have told you, our new friend's third look, every action has got an equal and opposite reaction. Our Miss Meadows behavior was due to the rejection of her lover. What was the content of the letter? Mr. Basil had told her that I love you sincerely but at the same time I am not going to marry you. I don't want to get married you. It is not that I don't love you because I don't want to get married and settle down in my life. No, that is not possible for me. I don't want this. So this is the thing. Thus the broken relationship caused our Miss Meadows to behave in a strange melancholy way. Now she comes as custom. Mary Baisley, the pianist, the piano, uh, uh, the, the girl who plays piano, she offered one chrysanthemum, yellow chrysanthemum, beautiful flower, and wished her good morning. But instead of accepting or wishing back, she directly went and told, Girls, Get ready with page number 14. What was there in page number 14 of the singing book? A song of lament, lamentation, sad song. <coughs> so they all started singing about this one. Which, what made our Miss Meadows to select that particular song? The reason was that she had been abandoned by her fiancé lover, Mr. Basil. Thus, let us understand and sing the song once again. That sad song, page number 14. So, fast or too fast fade the roses of pressure. Soon autumn yields into winter drear. Fleetly Put it in your mouth, okay? Bite the finger, try to 
and then sing, then you will be able to sing. Yes. Far, walk you far, fade the roses of prayer, soon for two years, in the winter prayer. You can sing, all right, that's a technique, don't say to anybody else, all right? Okay, so coming to the class, so, maybe was urging her, sorry, Miss Meadows was urging her students to sing this lament song. Yes. Good heavens! What could be more tragic than that lament? Every note was a sigh. Sigh means deep, painful breath. Abadbarna, yes. A sob, again a weeping, a cry, a groan of awful mournfulness. The, the note, every word, every note of that song was filled with mournful tune. Yes. Miss Meadows lifted her arms in the white gown and began connecting with both hands. Now as a music teacher, she lifted her both hands and started connecting the class. Was, I feel more and more strongly that our marriage would be a mistake. While the students are singing, Mary is thinking about the letter of her fiancé. Thinking about the content of her letter. I feel more and more strongly that our marriage would be a mistake. She bet and the boys cried, Fleetly, oh fleetly. What could have possessed him to write such a letter? Now Mary is again thinking, sorry, Miss Mano is again thinking, what caused Mr. Basil to think like I am not a marrying man, I am not going to, be, to marry you. Yes, what could have possessed him to write such a letter? What could have led up to it? He is thinking, what is the reason? What is the cause which made Basil to write such a letter? It came out of nothing, actually there is no reason. Yes, his last letter had been all about the fund of bookcase. Fund of bookcase means the small bookcase he had bought for our book. See, our is given in inverted commas. Our means Basil and Miss Meadows. Probably they were thinking about the married life. Yes. And a nutty little horse stand. A nutty little, the beautiful horse stand. He had seen a very neat affair with a curved owl on the bracket holding three hard brushes in its claws. What a beautiful, yes, this one, beautiful uh, uh, horse stand. How she had smiled at that. So like a man to think one needed true hard brushes. From the listening ear sang the voices. On the one side, the students are singing the song. And Mary is, sorry, Miss Meadows is reflecting about the beautiful, sorry, uh, the sorrowful letter which she had received from her fiancé, Mr. Basil. Students sing and she reflects. Yes. Once again, said Miss Meadows, but this time in part, still without expression. Fast, all too fast. Again, thinking. Yes, everything in our life disappears, vanishes very fast without any time. We have heard the old cliche, old saying. Time and time wait for none. Everything passes from our life very fast. Yes. With the gloom of the Karl added, one could scarcely help shuddering. Then Karl that means lost female voice. The small, the tiniest sound they singing. But yes, 
कॉन्ट्रोटॉक्स एड वन कुड स्कर्सली गर्ल शडरिंग शी वे यस फेड द रोसेस ऑफ प्लेशर हैप्पीनेस पासेस वेरी पास यस लास्ट टाइम ही हैड कम टू सी हर बेसिल हैड वोन ए रोस इन हिज बटन फॉल how handsome he had looked in that bright blue shirt with that dark red rose and he knew it too he couldn't help knowing it first he stroked his hair then his mustache his teeth his teeth gleamed when he smiled so our miss madoz is again remembering the visit the previous visit of her fiance mr basic how he had come what type of dress he had worn and how handsome he was looking the headmaster's wife keeps on asking me to dinner basic is telling this thing to miss meadows yes the headmaster's wife keeps on asking me to dinner it's a perfect nuisance i never get an evening to myself in that place but can't you refuse if she invites can't you refuse can't you say no oh well it doesn't do for a man in my position to be unpopular no that is not a good thing for me to do say refuse music's game mission music note passes veil with the voices again on the background what is going on please remember on the background the singing is going on singing of the lemon song mournful song from page number 14 yes and miss meadows is reflecting over the love letter of her fiance that is mr base the willow tree is outside the high willow tree uh, which has a tree type of tree um, that grows in the mountain regions tall tree almost look like a uh, spine tree or uh, uh, what is what we say uh, yeah pine tree we can say but of course the leaves it is different narrow uh, high narrow windows waved in the wind they had lost half their leaves the tiny ones that clung cling clang clung yes past the sand past the person wriggled like fishes caught on a line i am not a marrying man thinking miss meadows is again thinking i am not a marrying man this means i do not want to marry the boys were silent the piano waited quite good said miss meadows but still in such a strange stony tone that the younger girls began to feel positively frightened the small girls could not really understand what was going on or how to do it but now that we know it we shall take it with expression now miss meadows asked the students to sing it with more expression already in my goodness it is a salaman song so there is a wonderful song and if you want more expression and to sing what would be the condition you can imagine yes that is what miss meadows is asking her students to repeat the same song but now that we know it we shall take it with expression as much expression as you can put into it think of the words girls think of the words words of this song lyrics of the song use your imagination fast or too fast cried miss meadows again she sang she began then that ought to break out a loud strong for a lemon and then in the second line winter dreyer make that dreyer sound as 
on the music stool wriggled her spine. The third line should be one crescendo. Crescendo, that is the third line. That is the, the top point of the music. That is, this means a yes, gradual increase of sound in a singing. That is called the top point. The third line. Crescendo. We should get fleetly or fleetly music's game measure. That line should be in the top voice. Yes. Breaking on the first word of the last line passes and then on the word away. You must begin to die, to fail until the listening ear is nothing more than a faint whisper. As you end, it should be a faint whisper. Ending of the words should be of faint whisper. Slowly, 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 slowly coming to an end. You can slow down as much as you like, almost as the last line. Now please, after giving the instructions, this paragraph, Miss Meadows is instructing her students to sing the same song with much expression. That is the curtain. Now again they are going to sing. Again the two light taps. Or the music stand to begin the song. She lifted her arms again. Fast or too fast. And I know settling down fills me with nothing but disgust. Again, students are singing with too much feeling. At the same time, Miss Meadows is reflecting about the words and the idea of settling down fills me up with nothing but disgust. Disgust was what he had written. Disgust. That was the word written. That was as good as to say their engagement was definitely broken off. Broken off their engagement. People had been surprised enough that she had got engaged. People, her friends and other ladies, they were very happy to know that Miss Meadows was engaged with Mr. Basie. The science mistress would not believe it at first. Even this engagement, science mistress, she could not even, call, uh, even believe it. But nobody had been as surprised as she. But she was very much surprised to see Miss Meadows getting engaged to Mr. Basil. She was 30. Basil was 25. So here we get the age of Miss Meadows. She was 30, 3 0, and her fiance is 25, Mr. Basil. Yes. It had been a miracle, simply a miracle. To hear him say as they walked home from church that very dark night, you know, somehow or other I have got hold of you. I don't know. Now, on the way back from church, Mr. Basil told Miss Meadows that I don't know, something, you know, something on the other I have got hold of you. I don't know what made me to like in love with you. Yes. And he had taken hold of the end of her ostrich feather ball. As the survey from the listening ear passes. They had been falling in love for so many days, so many months, so many years. Now, with this letter, almost everything is coming to an end. Repeat! Repeat! Said Miss Meadows. More expression, girls. Once more, she is making the students to sing with more and more expression. What? More expressions. Yes. Fast or too fast. The older girls were crimson. Some of the younger ones began to cry. So the senior girls of the singing group, their face almost blushed with red in color. And small girls, adding more expressions to a sorrowful song, 
they began to cry big spots of rain blew against the windows and one could hear the billows whispering not that i do not love you again not that i don't love you who says mr basil had written this statement to miss bedos regarding their marriage i break up the relationship it is not that i don't just love you but i love you sincerely but the thing is that i don't want to get married and settle down in my life but my darling if you love me thought miss meadows i don't mind how much it is love me as little as you like but she knew he didn't love her not to have cared enough to scratch out that word disgust so that she couldn't read it soon autumn yields in the winter prayer soon it moves Yes, soon autumn yields unto winter prayer. Autumn season passes to winter. Winter passes again like that. Season changes. Same way. Everything in our life. Miss Meadows also feels that her love has been rejected and no past. So she has become a bad in life. She could never face the science mistress or the girls after it got known. She was rather frightened. Once this news comes to the information of others, how she could survive in school? Yes, she would have to disappear somewhere. Somewhere she had to go, pass away, pass move away. The voices began to die to fade to whisper to vanish. the voice of the singing class began to die almost come to an end fail and whisper to vanish suddenly the door opened a little girl in blue was firstly up the ice firstly means worried and she hanging her head biting her lips and twisting the silver silver bangle on her red little wrist she came up the steps and stood before miss meadows a little girl that comes from the other section to give some information to miss meadows the music teacher well monica what is it monica monica is the name of the student the girl who has come to pass the information to miss meadows Oh, if you please, Miss Meadows," said the little girl, gasping. Gasping is open. Oh, yes, I'm able to breathe. Like Miss Yard wants to see you in the mistress room. Yes, Miss Yard. Yard is who is Yard? The head mistress or the principal of the school. Yes, she wants. Principal wants to meet you in her office. That is what the message given by Monica to Miss Meadows. Yes. Still time is there. No problem. I'm not going to leave you. Just a few more uh, minutes. Five to ten minutes, and I will wind up the class. All right. Very well. Sir, Miss Meadows. Okay. All right. She got the information. And she called to the girls. I shall put you on your honor to talk quietly while I am here. Now, giving instructions to the students, the singing students. Miss Meadows is getting ready to go to principal's office, but they were too subdued to do anything else. Most of them were blowing their nose, crying. Teacher talk, okay. With your own responsibility, you can talk a little bit. Now, the students, they were very much inactive. They were really feeling 
sword was in their heart, and some of them started blowing their doors, crying, weeping. Yes, the corridors were silent and cold. They echoed to Miss Meadows' steps. The headmistress sat at her desk for a moment. She did not look up. She was, as usual, disentangling her eyeglasses. As you should disentangling the eyeglasses, yes, which had caught, which had got caught in her lace cap. Sit down, Miss Meadows. She said very kindly, and then she picked up a pink envelope from the bloating pad. I sent for you just now because this telegram has come for you. Yes. This telegram has come for you. I called you, Principal, Mr. Sorry, Miss. Your is telling you, Miss, because I called you to hand over this telegram. A telegram for me, Miss York. She is surprised. Miss Meadows is surprised. Telegram. Basil, he had committed suicide. Decided Miss Meadows. She thought at the at receiving the telegram. Miss Meadows thought Mr. Mace Basil was committed suicide. Her hand flew out, but Miss York held the telegram back a moment. I hope it's not bad news, she said. So more than kind, and Miss Meadows tore it open. She put up her cold feet. Yes, opened the letter. Pay no attention to letter. Must have been mad. Broad board high stand today. Race sit. She read. She read. Very important. Cutting the first letter. Cutting the third letter. Very important. See. Pay no attention to letter. The previous letter which he had written telling about the uh, abandonment of their love or not marrying. That letter. Mr. Basil has said on the telegram. Forget about that previous. Letter of mine. Don't worry. Must have been mad. I don't know why and what I got like that way. Must have been mad. But I bought high stand today. Basil, she read. She couldn't take her eyes off that telegram. She could not believe it was such a surprise for her. I do hope it's nothing very serious. Said Miss York, leaning forward, leaning forward, bending forward. Our uh, principal asks, "I think it is nothing serious." Oh no! Thank you, Miss York. Blush, Miss Meadows. It's nothing bad at all. It is nothing bad at all. It's and she gave an apologetic little laugh. Sorry, apologetic. I'm so sorry. It's from my fiance saying that it is. This like this telegram is from my fiance saying that saying that there was a post. I see," said Miss York. And another pause. Then you have been 15 minutes. You have got 15 minutes more of your class, Miss Meadows. Have you? So after reading that one, being a sincere principal, Miss York looked at her watch and told Miss Meadows, "You have got 15 minutes more for your to complete your class." Yes. Yes, Miss York. She got up. She half ran towards the door. Now she is ran towards the door. She has become very happy. Again, the broken relationship is established, re-established. Yes. Oh, just one minute, Miss Meadows," said Miss York. "I must say I don't approve of my teachers having telegrams sent to them in school hours." Unless in case of very bad news such as death, yes, please, Miss York, or a very serious accident or something to that effect. She instructed. I don't like people sending telegram to the school during the school hours, except some serious matter like death or serious accident, something like that. Other than that, I don't know. Gray, who said? Miss York told to Miss Meadows. Yes. Good news, Miss Meadows. We always keep, you know.
on the wings of hope of love of joy miss meadows felt back to the music hall with a stream feeling happy joy joyfulness she ran off ran back to her music class now see change of character change your behavior from sadness happy mood yes sorrowful mood to enjoyable mood miss meadows sped back to the music hall up the aisle up the steps over the piano page 32 mary she said page 32 earlier first song sorrowful song that was on page number 14 Now she asked her pianist, that is Mary Beasley, to turn page number thirty-two. I am picking up the yellow chrysanthemum. See, here the yellow chrysanthemum flower was given. She even did not smile. Now she picked up that flower chrysanthemum. She held it to her lips, her lips, her lips, to hide her smile. Then she turned to the girls. Wrapped with her baton, wrapped with the baton. Page thirty-two, girls. Page thirty-two. Now let us sing the song on page number thirty-two here. What is the song? Of course, you can translate it. A happy song. We come here today with flowers all laden, with baskets so full and ribbons to boot. To congratulate. We come here today with flowers all laden, with baskets of fruits and ribbons to boot to congratulate, to congratulate. Stop, stop! Cried Miss Meadows again. She asked the students to stop the singing. This is awful. This is not good. This is bad because a happy song should be. Sang with enjoyment, with thrill, enjoyment. Yes, this is dreadful. And she beamed at her girls. What is the matter with you all? Think, girls, think of what you are singing. Of course, think about what you are singing. Use your imagination. With flowers of pollen, baskets of fruit, and ribbons to boot, and congratulate. Miss Meadows broke off. Don't look so doleful, girls. A a doleful means sorrowful or unhappy or inactive. It ought to sound warm, joyful, eager. First, sad song, no happy song. She is guiding or instructing the students to sing with happiness. Congratulate once more. Quickly, all together now then. And this time, Miss Meadows' voice sounded over all the other voices, full, deep, glowing with expression. Thus, when the students students sang the first song, Miss Meadows' voice almost her voice was nil, muted. Now, in this happy song. Her sound, expression, everything top eye. Yet clear for you. So what I want to say: our behavior depends on the inner struggle that we undergo. If we come with a bad mood, then definitely all our actions will be in that sad mood. If our Expression. If our inner, if we feel inner peace, happiness, then rest of the behavior also will be ending in happiness. Yes, as we have learned in this one. Hope the story is clear for you, dear students. Today I will appear. Tomorrow I will uh, come with the uh, some rights to form of this one in my analysis, critical appreciation, all those things. And tomorrow by tomorrow. Reminder. As for you today, your homework is please write down the summary of the class after reading the total. The total summary.
from the book, not from the workbook that you have right, but from after reading in your own words, please write down. All right. You take care. See you tomorrow. Stay at home. Stay safe. God bless you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Please note all these things in my YouTube channel. Alan's tutorials. All right. Alan A W L E N apostrophe S tutorials. Right. YouTube channel. Thank you very much. Hi. Bye bye. Yours are here once again.